Check out game prep before this week's game to earn XP and boost player confidence. Check out game prep before this week's game to earn XP and boost player confidence. Hello everyone, I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. We're on to the divisional round now. Two steps away from playing on the biggest stage in sports. It's the Falcons going up against the Saints. So let's go now to Atlanta, Georgia, where Jim and Phil are on the call. It's the divisional round in the NFL, and that means a trip to the conference championship is on the line here today on EA Sports. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims getting set for this divisional round matchup. Kickoff just minutes away. Yeah, every round of the playoffs, it just gets bigger. Everybody gets more excited, more attention drawn or thrown at these players, I should say. How do you handle it? Can you keep your nerves out of the game and also for the coaches can you make decisions on that sideline that does not hurt your football team Falcons are ready to run back this kick and Thomas Morstead looks ready to get this one underway This divisional playoff game is underway. A trip to the conference championship on the line. And he's going to be brought down right around the 33-yard line. At quarterback, he holds virtually every Atlanta record for single season and career records. Quarterback, Matt Ryan. Freeman's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. And at the 37, he'll be brought down for this offense. One of the most consistent threats they've had since being a first-round pick in 2005 out of UAB is Roddy White. If you give Matt Ryan the time to throw the football between Julio Jones and this guy who goes unnoticed sometimes, Roddy White, man, can they get it done? Roddy White is just a terrific wide receiver in the NFL. The defense doesn't want to give up runs like that, so how do they stop it? Well, they start crowding the line of scrimmage, so you keep crowding that line of scrimmage, look out, they'll throw it over the top. Here we are in the playoffs, and when you compare it with the regular season, the microscope, it's out, the attention, it's there. It's all ratcheted up right now. Uh, it's a big difference, no doubt about it. You see more reporters in the locker room all during the week. And no matter how you play during the regular season, nobody cares. They're just worried about this playoff game. Hankerson with the grab. The tackle is made, and the first down is picked up. The key to being a really good route runner and running these drag routes across the field is show some courage. Don't worry about what's in front of you. The quarterback will take care of that. Freeman's hand at the football. Then picks up about three. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. 
and they stop him for a short game. Second down and eight. Smith's going to secure the handoff. Smith's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. Third down and six. Has the reception all alone. I know it looks easy, but it's not. But a nice throw on the slant route. Slant route means you're slanting towards the inside. Good throw and catch. First down at the 25. Smith's tackled down after a gain of two. Smith's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. The Falcons take it from the 23. Now cutting to the right side, looking for some open space. He's averaging about four yards a carry. Freeman's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. The Saints set at the line. Dime package. The quarterback's picked up on something. He's changing the play here. Ryan connects with Julio Jones on that one. The Falcons on offense here to start the second quarter. The long drive continues. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Spencer's the one who brings him to the ground. Freeman's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. The Saints defense now is going to go nickel. Second and goal from the seven. Ryan's going to scramble. Makes the grab. Touchdown. They've got the lead here early in the second quarter. A good development for them in this game. Yeah, nice. You know, they learned something in that first quarter. They took that knowledge and they put it to good use and they found a way to get down there and score a touchdown. That was a nice job by the offense. The Saints getting set to return the kickoff. Spiller's going to run this one out. And he's met head on right there at the 20. The Saints lineup been a tight first half. The score's 7 to 0. First down at the 20. The Saints now move the chains. That's a really good throw and catch, and they get the first down. Jim, that's what you want to do. Pick up that first down. Now you give your offense three more opportunities. The Falcons with a nickel look here on defense. The run it with Mark Ingram. Ball is out, and the defense has it. Well, that's a mistake they'll be. We have a review coming from the booth. So they're looking to see if the ball came out before the knee was down. I think when you look at these plays, most of the time it's pretty easy to determine. Uh, Jim, you know, you can, it's just always a clear shot. When that knee hits the ground, you can freeze that shot and determine if it's a fumble or down by contact. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. They went to the booth and it was not verified. After nearly turning it over, it's second down. We're getting close to the two-minute warning. Time for one more play. Halftime is coming up, but first we reach the two-minute warning. All right, following the two-minute warning, we've got a defense trying to maintain the lead as we head towards halftime. The Saints will take the snap from the 35. Colston's got it. First down. That's his first reception today. 
always try to save the timeout or timeouts when you can. And one way to do it is go to the hurry up offense. Good job. The defense gets the sack. When you're trying to score some points at the end of the first half. The best way to do it when the time is against you. Get in that hurry up offense. Make the defense sit back. Be real careful about what they're doing. Maybe you can get some quick yards and get a chance with some points before halftime rolls around. The Saints have to get to the 41 for a first. The Saints snap it at the 41. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. Saints trying to catch the defense by surprise here on third and long. They go with the run, and sometimes those runs on third and long work, and you can pick up a first down. But that time the defense was ready, they tried it, and it didn't work. The Saints will punt the football. And he punts it, and it's going to sail out of bounds, trying to play kick away from that dangerous returner. The Falcons offense coming back onto the field. It was a good drive for them last time they had it. All the way down to the end zone for the touchdown. Yeah, you know, in this game, Jim, it's all about momentum. And when you feel you've got the momentum on your side, you've got to take advantage of it. So now I think it's up to the offensive coordinator to call the right play. Lions on the move. Two hands on the football and has the catch. Ducks out of bounds. Well, there's under two minutes to go. Good job by the offensive uh, ball carry that time. He knows he can get no more yards. He steps out of bounds to stop the clock. Ryan's five for five after that completion. Let's go. Let's go. The Falcons take it from the 28. And now Ryan's going to take off. And they deck the quarterback. That's an excellent job by the defense. Just gets quick penetration in there, hits the quarterback, and gets the sack. That clock keeps moving. What a job by the defense in this situation. The Saints defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. That picks up 11. Falcons have to take their final timeout. That's it. First down here. They're changing things here. The quarterback changing. He's, he's giving the receiver some new instructions. Ryan's taking off. There's a flag out. Touchdown, Atlanta. They'll decline the penalty and let the play stand. Now they come out for the point after. Of course, this year, the new rule, the PAT, is snapped from the 15-yard line, making the point after 13 yards longer than the pass, a 33-yard point after attempt. The Falcons' kicking team comes out now as the offense takes a break, and they deserve one after going down the field, mainly through the air with over 70 yards passing. The Falcons getting set to kick it away. Spillers running this one out. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. The Saints heading back out there on offense, hoping to improve on their last possession, which ended rather quickly with a punt. Yeah, I think what they got to do, they got to come out and be a little more creative. Get the defense off guard. Make them think over there. That was too generic what they did on the offensive side. If you want to score, show some ingenuity. Not only does he know the situation, when you have the football in your hands, you want to get out of bounds to stop the clock, but I'm sure the quarterback in the huddle, before he called the play, said, look, if you get a chance, get out of bounds. The chance was there. Big mistake. We've come to the end of the first half in the Olympic City of Atlanta. We'll take a quick break here for halftime before returning for the start of the third. Thanks, Jim, and welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get to it. The Falcons are up right now and are looking to keep up the pressure moving forward. The Saints didn't play their best, and they'll need to be at their best now to come back. All right, let's roll those highlights. 
Falcons with the football midway through the first. Tammy's got the catch here, and that connection will lead to a gain of 14 yards. Falcons later on the drive. The catch is made in double coverage. And finally, on play 12, they score as they put the first points on the board. Now first and 10, Drew Brees would squeeze the pass in here, and he'll end up at their own 35-yard line before being tackled. Saints would later lose possession on a forced fumble. So we'll wrap things up here and go back under the lights where Jim Nance and Phil Sims have the call. All right, Larry, thank you for that from the studios and halftime. We're going to transition now. We're about to get the third quarter underway. Spiller's going to test the coverage this time. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. The Saints offense trots out onto the field looking to get into the end zone and see if they can turn the tide in this one, partner. Well, the fact that they are losing this game so far, the sense of urgency is there on the offensive side. You know, you have many plays in that playbook. I think they need to try a few different ones here in the second half. Saints coaching staff, they have been smart today. They are keeping everybody off balance, even me. I thought for sure they would run the football, but no, they come out on first down, they throw it, they pick up solid yards. Good job by them. Breeze with the handoff. And that gains one. Jim, when you're down multiple scores in the second half, you're looking for the little things to get momentum on your side. So just get a first down. Don't look for the big plays. That was a good job by the offense that time. First and ten. Mark Ingram carries the football. He is tackled at the 40-yard line. Ingram's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. The Saints will take the snap from the 40. Here's Colston. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. When you run the slant route, it's very important to know as a receiver that you're going to catch that football probably in between some linebackers. Breeze, five for five after that completion. First down at the 46. That's a gain of seven. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to, and also it opens up so many other things for your offense. On the money. Spiller. They come to the line at the 28. Ingram, solo back set. Now first and ten. And Ingram is taking the handoff. Gains five. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it, and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. The Saints take it from the 23. Breeze unable to connect that time. Got to give the defense a lot, of, a lot of credit there, don't you, Jim? They are all over the receivers, all over the field, nowhere to throw it, and it just results in an incompletion. Third and five coming up. Breeze got no one behind him. Just the quarterback waiting for the snap. The Saints take it from the 23. And it's knocked down. Good job that time by the defense on third down. Find a way to get off the field. The defender found a way. Knocked that pass down. it through for three never take it for granted when you're trying to field goal a lot of things could go wrong but good execution at time by the offense and a good kick three points
the Falcons in kick return formation. Fields the football at the three. Still on his feet. And the tackle's made right around the 26-yard line. The Falcons offense, Phil, was on a roll right now with touchdowns coming on each of their last two possessions. Can they make it three in a row right here? Well, we're going to find out. I like their chances. What have we seen that makes us think that they're not going to come out there and get it done? They're, they're playing exceptional football on the offensive side. He's averaging five yards per carry on the day. Second and six coming up. Falcons will take the snap from the 30. Freeman's got it on the draw. Freeman's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. At the 34, 66 yards from pay dirt. The Falcons come out. Jumbo package on the field. That's been the story of this game. Another third down conversion to move the chains. It's first down now. Right around three minutes remaining in the game. The final quarter begins with this snap. Freeman's brought down but has the first. Freeman's a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. First down and ten. Lions running away from the pressure. Easy catch there. No one near him. Wright takes the hit and brought down. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. Ryan's now completed his last seven passes. Nothing like a running back who fights for every extra yard. When you get that extra yard or two, what it does, it just creates better situations for your offense. going to take off and incomplete what a hit that time that's interesting as you watch the receiver trying to make that catch he knew the defender was close so he didn't put all of his heart into it the defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground last play before the two-minute warning and the immediate handoff to the fullback Two minutes remaining, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Just two minutes left of this one. We're back now for the end of the fourth quarter. Look out. They're changing the play to take advantage of something they see on the defensive side. Knocked down as he fires it. It's now second down. take off with it Tammy the target and the timeout is called so we're gonna take a quick break and return in just a moment this has been a long drive so far the defense loading up on the line getting set for this snap breaks the plane touchdown Well, that's really having deep belief in your offensive line. In the third and goal, your offensive line just road grades the defense out of there and they get the touchdown running the football. The Falcons for the extra point. And the point after is good. The Saints will now be in an even deeper hole here as they get ready to return the kick. Scores 21 to 3. 
Cooks is going to test the coverage here. And it's the same as a touchback as he's tackled right at the 20. The Saints put some points on the board on their previous possession. Although it was just a field goal, Phil, they'll be looking to add some more right here. Oh, absolutely. I think they were disappointed in that last drive. You got it going. You think here comes a touchdown and it doesn't work. And you kick a field goal. So a little disappointed. That should give them some momentum to get tougher and make this happen and get a touchdown. Holding on to the timeout. They'll rush back to the line. Breeze is going to take it from the shotgun. There's a flag right there. Holding offense. That penalty is, of course, going to be accepted by the defense. Breeze lines up in the pistol. First and 20. It's a completion to Watson. Watson's tackled down at the 32. Timeout won't be used here. They'll go to the hurry. Second and 10. Sometimes on third and long from the defensive side, I like the fact that you can blitz. Send more guys than they can block. Make the quarterback throw the football quickly and short. Then it's all up to coming up and making the tackle. Third and ten. Looking across the middle. Looking middle that time. And it's incomplete. The Saints really don't have much of a chance of picking up this first down. It's third long. Of course, the defense is looking for passes down the field. They're all over everything, and the pass goes incomplete. Touchback here will bring the ball out to the 20. The Falcons can put this game away here. Just run out the clock here, Phil. It's been a blowout victory, and now all you're trying to do is not get anybody hurt. That's right. Get this game over with. And in the NFL, you've got to treasure moments like this to win easily. That doesn't happen often, so enjoy this victory. Slashes to the left side. He's averaging five yards per carry on the day. Well, Jim, they got the lead. There's not much time left. Run the football on this clock. Keep it moving, and you can win the game. Take no chances. Don't jump off sides. Don't create a penalty and put two hands on the ball. Second down and 10. Here's the handoff out of the strong eye. And there's only two yards to be found right there. Jim, that's just playing it by the book. You got the lead, and you want to keep the clock moving. So what do you do? You run the football. When you're in the huddle as a quarterback in this type of situation, you just tell everybody two things. Stay in bounds and put two hands on the football. The Saints defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense. Ryan's on the move. The defense gets a sack. One team has secured its spot of the conference championship, while the other disheartened to know they were this close to the NFL's Final Four. When you win in this round, you win in the divisional round, you know now they're just one more victory away from the Super Bowl stage. What a victory here today. Yeah, it is. That dream that you have of going to the Super Bowl, we got a lot closer after today's game, and to beat such a quality opponent gives you confidence. You feel good about everything you're doing. You can't wait for that conference championship game. For Phil Sims and all the crew, Jim Nance saying so long.